the Rain Man routine? Nothing. It's just a thing I do before a big game. Perfectly normal to put your lunch in alphabetical order. Well, I figure if my lunch is perfect, then my game is as well. <laughs> You're so weird. <laughs> so you seriously think it matters if I mix the water with the milk? Or the apple with the cheese? Or if I move the carrots, say, over here? Put that back. Or what? Just leave it. Okay, okay. I'm just curious what happens. What if I move the carrots, say, over here? Megan. Or over here? It's bad luck. Or over here. I believe that belongs to me. You try hard. Yeah, you try hard to impress them. But they look gone. Yeah, they don't even know your name. Name them game. They give you what to play today. It's the same. I tell you, for I am Master Bates, all-knowing ruler of man and proud owner of the world's most powerful eyebrows. <laughs> that is so good. I wonder if he had those eyebrows registered. <laughs> Adina, do yours. Well, it's a work in progress, but here goes. I am Cascadia, Mr. Furlong. <laughs> Afternoon, all. Dr. Myers. Hey, Dad. Uh, hi. Something tells me this is a parent-free zone. That's why they pay him the big bucks. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Ciao. Bye. So, let's see your President Bates. <sighs> What's up? Well, Cody, don't take this the wrong way. I mean, it's great you're close with your dad and everything. My dad's idea of parental involvement is my weekly rankings updates. So, I get along with my dad. What does that have to do with your Bates impression? You're buddies with our shrink. It's a little weird. But he's the cool dad. I mean, we, we talk about everything. That's kind of the problem. <laughs> what was that? Sorry, Megan, I'm just a little off. Please tell me you didn't eat the guacamole. It's not that. Well, what is it then? If we lose this set, we drop three seeds. Is that what you want? Okay, let's just play, okay? I'm, I'm fine. Hey there, stranger. Hey, Dad. I was just about to go into town. Want to go? Sure. Um, actually, I need to work out with Adina. Exercise? <laughs> You're a Myers. We may amble and saunter, but we don't exercise. Well, I do. It's like the ball was floating in slow motion. The pride of France. Nothing but air. Nice. <laughs> Must have forgotten his picture. What picture? Of tennis great Francois Cochet. <laughs> Can't play without it. He even sleeps with it under his pillow. <laughs> okay, first this crazy lunch routine, and now this? Relax, Meg. It's totally normal. It's just a little bit of superstition. We've all got him. Since when? And how come I didn't know about this? Oh, come on, Megs. Even I know this. Everybody's got their own lucky charms. It's like my lucky scrunchie. Never lets me wear my hair down. Or like Squib's lucky boxer shorts. He never washes them when he's on a winning streak. Oh. 
Even Sunny's got a good luck charm. Her little fuzzy bunny, Bertram, it's totally normal. Normal? You ever heard of obsessive compulsive disorder? You run eight hours a day. If anyone's obsessive, it's you. Yeah, but this is so stupid. Playing is about conditioning and talent, not crusty boxers or how veggies sit in a plate. The universe works in strange ways. Look, it's not like we really need the stuff. Is that so? So, one of those Hollywood alien catastrophes is playing down at the rep. What do you say we sneak in some illegal grub and make fun of the dialogue? No, not, not tonight. Is there something you want to tell me? No, it's just I have the dad you and the shrink you, you know? That's, that's twice what everyone else deals with. I wasn't aware that... Um... Dealing with me was a problem. No worries. You need me to take a step back? I will. You sure you didn't put them in your laundry? Those are my lucky boxers. <sighs> well, I got my own problems here, okay? Francois Montpot, where are you? For the last time, I haven't seen your lucky scrunchie. And besides, I thought you don't believe in luck. Hey, Sebastian, up for doubles this morning? Absolutely. Okay, what's going on? What do you mean? You have that post run glow happening, and I didn't see you running. Can you keep a secret? It's in the vault. Let's just say I'm performing an exorcism on the voodoo crew. The voodoo crew? Squibbadina and Sebastian, curing them of superstitions. <gasps> Why is this so important? Can't you allow for a little mystery in this world? Come on, Cody, you of all people should understand. All this hocus pocus is a load of mumbo jumbo. You'll see. I don't know, Megs. You're messing with fate here. I'm doing them a favor. I wouldn't expect any thank you cards. <sighs> Relax. How bad can it be? Ow! 
Seen crappy tennis play in my time, but this, how shall I put this gently? This isn't even the same sport. It's like I'm watching a group of four year olds playing with lightsabers. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back inside, have myself a nice cup of coffee, and pretend this never happened. However, if when I return, we're not back to playing competent tennis. Then I guarantee you this. Some of you will be dropped down to the B group. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got a nice cup of joe with my name on it. Oh, this is so stupid. Let's just wait one more day. I swear they'll be cured. Hey, either you give them back their stupid lucky charms or I will. Megan! It was just here. The bag. It's gone. You guys sure are quiet this morning. Squib, you can't honestly tell me you've run out of things to say. Sebastian, remember your ritual, huh? Let me help you out there. I think the apple goes here, right? And the orange here, or is it the other way around? Guys, I think Megan has something she wants to tell you. Uh, yeah, of course. Let me begin by saying, for the record, how impressed I've been with your tennis of late. You guys have told... Ow. Okay, fine. I I'm the one that took your lucky stuff. What? <gasps> oh. Why are you all relying on crutches? Tennis is about work and skill and sweat. Get to the point, Megs. I lost them. Oh. Look, I don't know how it happened. The shed was locked. I checked. I might expect a stunt like this from Squib. But you, of all people, Miss O'Connor? Look, I was just trying to show them that superstitions are dangerous. I don't care if they shave their feet to get sight. And neither do you. Understand? Yes, sir. Cascadia is in the business of producing winners. And like it or not, I have to replace poor performers with up-and-comers. The reality is the junior nationals are almost here. And none of you will qualify in your present condition. So I've talked to Dr. Myers, and he's agreed to give you each some intensive help. OK? Superstition is a funny thing. Conrad Lawrence argued that it must be extremely useful to cling to a behavior pattern which has once or many times proven to achieve its aim and to have done so without danger. Any thoughts? Look, the faster we deal with this nonsense, the quicker you guys can get back to playing tennis. I mean, you're the same athletes as yesterday, right? You know, Bjorn Borg used to be superstitious. The Bjorn Borg? Mm -hmm. The one and only. As a matter of fact, during one Wibbleton final, he saw his mother spit out a piece of candy. When his game fell apart, he made her pick up the candy and put it back in her mouth. That's pretty gross. And I'm sure we can all see the absurdity in this. Well, except you're missing one part. What's that? It worked. And Borg won his fourth straight Wimbledon victory. So, how the voodoo crew exorcism go? Oh, don't ask. What's your plan of attack? You gonna board them to death? Cody, what's going on here? You're approaching this like Megan. All logic, no spirit. Not every problem can be removed like a bad tooth, you know? 
That's your mother talking. Well, maybe I should go live with her. Oh, is that what this is about? You wanna go back to Montreal? Take a chill pill, Dad. Hey, watch your mouth. If our best pal thing isn't doing it for you anymore, I could start acting more like a father. Is that what you want? Okay, so, so what is it? It's just that sometimes, Dad, your work puts a damper on my social life. Cody, it's my job. Besides, it's your friends I'm trying to help. I don't see you trying to help the voodoo crew. Well, I think that some mysteries in the universe are best kept unsolved. <laughs> Megan, you are not gonna believe it. Follow me. They locked themselves in about half an hour ago. Mumbled something about needing to quarantine themselves. This is a joke, right? No. They must really be nuts. Guys, Megan's here. What's going on? Stay away. Save yourself. Look, I'm sorry about the trinkets. Anyone up for a rally? We're staying right here. We're cursed. Oh, run while you still can. OK, if this is some kind of payback thing, then point made. Come out now. This is stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Now, just leave us alone. We'll be fine. You heard them. Nothing we can do. You coming? Staying right here. But you heard them. This could be ours, right? Attention, concerned peers. Please be aware that in order to minimize the possibility of infection, we are taking a vow of silence. Sign the voodoo crew. That's it, then. Well, if the voodoo crew suffers, then I suffer, too. Even if it takes all day and night. Suit yourself. All right, gang, we're in this together, right? It's like the old cliche says. There's no I in team. All for one and one for all. Through thick and thin. We'll give it our 110%. All for one and one for all. Because diligence is the mother of good luck. And the sister of tenacity. And the third cousin twice removed from ambition. You stayed out all night. They could suspend you. No, 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 no. Don't worry, I covered for you. Thanks. Hey, guys! Oh, they're gone. What? It can't be. Where'd they go? Breakfast. You guys got everything you need? Uh, juice. Those eggs cooked the way you like them. Cereal too soggy. <laughs> Looks soggy. Can I freshen it up? Megan, just relax. They'll eat if they feel like it. Hey, why don't we skip breakfast and go hit a few balls around? Right. I'll go grab your rackets. So I'm just gonna waft a few softies over your way, okay? Who wants to go first? Sebastian! Gotta get in shape for the upcoming mix, right? Alrighty, here she comes. Good, that was a good try. Don't you think so, Cody? Yeah, awesome reflexes, Sebastian. Only this time, try lifting your racket up. Whoa, slow down there, guy. You trying to psych me out? There you go. Is that more like it, coach? What's going on here? There's something you should know about the voodoo crew. We snuck out the back of the shed five minutes after you showed up and went home to bed. There's a door on the back of that shed? The trinkets. Where'd you find them? I took them. 
you? Let's just say I like to keep some mystery in this world. You promised to keep the plan a secret. Oh, I did. From you. <laughs> and it worked like a charm. Myers comes through yet again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll accept small cash donations. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Cody. He's talking about your dad. What? We just had a session with Hartley. He made us realize how stupid we were. You mean all his textbook psychobabble actually worked? No, but last session he said something about uh, how some mysteries in the universe are best kept unsolved. It's like he gave us permission to have our quirks. <laughs> and suddenly we saw how stupid this whole thing was, and the psychobabble started making more sense. Hmm, there's a lesson here somewhere, isn't there? Indeed, Professor. Perhaps how it is best to let things be instead of overthinking them? A lesson, might I add, that not everyone has learned. Yeah, yeah, I'll book a session with Hartley. Your dad's pretty cool. For a dad. Okay, universe. Lesson learned. <laughs> Your time has come, do good on. <laughs> For if my machine gun does not kill you, my mustache will. <laughs> oh, you cannot harm me, mustache man. For I have Adonis cheekbones and sign on for three sequels. <laughs> I guess when it comes to having fathers, some kids are just lucky. You sure about this? Sure. It's no big deal. You don't need them. Whoa. Not that I need this. Of course not. 